ברוכים הבאים, שלום עליכם. משה לניארו ספיקינג, under the auspices of כולל ברוך אהבת ישראל, in San Diego, California, and שערי ציון here in Brooklyn, New York. This week, פרשת מקץ. שבת מקץ. ראש חודש טבת and חנוכה. A time to receive tremendous Kedusha and Tahora, to have a booster shot of holiness and purity, all three put together at one. You know, when we started the Torah many weeks ago, and the creation was taught, there was an introduction. Va'aretz ha'ita tov v'avohu v'choshech al-panei tahom. And the earth was chaotic. And darkness was on the depth. Our sages tell us this is a description not only of the earth prior to creation or during creation, but also it's a description of the exiles. When B'nai Israel will be far away from Eretz Israel, away from the Kedusha, it will be chaotic, it will be dark. But then, by he or there will be light. Chanukah is a bringing in of light to the darkness. My friends, when the world was created as we know, there was no sun at first, but there was light. For 36 hours, there was a powerful light more powerful, clearer than that of the sun. It gave us the ability to see from one side of the earth to the other. But after 36 hours after creation, God took away that light and replaced it by the sun. That light our mystics call Or Haganuz. For 36 hours, there was Or Haganuz. The hidden light. My friends, how many candles do we light in total on Hanukkah? If you do the mathematics correctly, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and plus 8 gives you 36. There are 36 candles representing this very powerful light. And we hope to have that light very soon with Be'at HaMashiach. 36 candles for 36 hours. My friends, not only a candle, but also a soul. The human body, the human, is a dichotomy of body and soul. The soul we call Nefesh. Nefesh. Look at the letters. Nun Pe Shin. Nun Ner. That flame, pe, the ptila, shin, the shemen. Ah, uh, those are parts of the human being representing our thoughts, our deeds. When it comes to Shabbat, when we light near Shabbat, we must use the purest of oils, the cleanest wick, and then we'll have a near Shabbat. But when it comes to Hanukkah, we could use the most putrid oil. We could use the most disgusting wick. And that will be sufficient to give us a ner for Hanukkah. My friends, that ner of Hanukkah is our nefesh. We are the ner, we are the p'tila, we are the shemen. And sometimes we think, that we are not pure. We're far from Shem and Zaytzach. We're far from the most beautiful patila available. But when it comes to Hanukkah, even the cheapest oil and the cheapest wick will bring us light. Any mortal who is not perfect like us. We are not perfect. We may not even be good but 
if we take it upon ourselves to bring light into the world, Hanukkah teaches us that we also have that ability. That is the mortal man. And that is Hanukkah. At the same time, tonight we'll be lighting, as we said, Ne'er Shabbat. First, the father, the husband of the household will light Ne'er Hanukkah, followed by his wife lighting Ne'er Shabbat like she does every week. The Ne'er Hanukkah originally was lit outside. It was to bring light into the marketplace into the place of entertainment, into the place of business. Those outside would gaze on the Ne'er Hanukkah and realize that there is a God in Israel. There is a God who does miracles and they will remember that great victory of the Hashmonaim against the Greeks. We, as fathers and as husbands, have that obligation to not only have an inner light for ourselves, but to have our light shine in the outer world. Therefore, who lights the near Hanukkah? The father, the husband. But when it comes to near Shabbat, who lights that near Shabbat? The one who lights that near Shabbat is the woman. For she is the one who takes care of all our homes. She is the one who makes sure that our homes are embedded with Kedusha and Tahara. The light of Shabbat is for the home. A light that will bring Shalom Bayit, will bring Kedusha and Tahara into our homes. Holiness and purity into the house is the responsibility of the mother. As we've seen of our mothers of old, Sarai Imenu, had that candle lit all week long. It was in her tent and not necessarily in Abraham's tent. It was in Sarah and Rifka's tent where the candle was lit, the Shabbat candle. She was responsible for it. My friends, tonight we'll bring in Hanukkah. Let us remember that we have a job to do what? To bring light to this dark world. But more important is the job of our wives and our mothers. Every, every Shabbat, lighting candles representing the Kedusha and Tahara, the holiness and the purity, which must come from our homes. Ezrat Hashem will be Zocheh, to the light of Shabbat. And very soon the organos, which is represented by the light of Hanukkah, and we'll walk hand in hand greeting, greeting Mashiach Tzidkenu. Shabbat Shalom, Rosh Chodesh Tov, and Chag Sameach.